Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam and thank you so much for watching. So I am uber uber super duper excited for today's video because I'm going to show you guys how to blend really short hair like this into hair that is long and glamorous like this right here. So if you guys are interested in me doing that, please keep watching. Before we get started guys, please go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up before you leave. And now let's get into the video. So today guys, we are going to be clipping in this set of beautiful extensions. Um, these extensions are from Foxy Locks. These are the Seamless Deluxe 20 inch in the color Coco. Now, before I went ahead and did this video, I wanted to make sure I wore these extensions for at least like two and a half weeks and did a wash on them to see how they would hold up. Now, as you can see, the hair is beautiful. It's shiny. I just washed it. This was kind of the natural wave pattern. It was even more defined actually. I kind of fluffed it up. Um, but these extensions are absolutely gorgeous. Foxy Locks is a great brand that I have used before a couple years ago and I wanted to go ahead and give them another chance because I was in the market for some nice thick extensions that weren't going to break the bank. These are not necessarily cheap, but these are more affordable I've noticed than other seamless extensions um, that are 20 inch and 200 grams. So. I want to just go into the extensions first of all guys. So like I said, these are 20 inch cocoa seamless extensions. Now by seamless, it means the hair is actually bonded together on this band like so. So instead of it being um, sewn on a traditional weft that I will put right here for you guys, this is a traditional weft. Um, this is a seamless weft. So these are much, much flatter. They are more durable, they have less shedding, um, and the hair is really, I don't know if you can see, the hair is really like bonded together on this band, and the clips are super small. So I really was tired of the traditional extensions that had the weft because I've been wearing extensions for a very long time now. Since like I was maybe 14 years old, I'm gonna be 25, and so that's about 10, 11 years. So, with that being said, I've had experience with many different brands of clip-ins and um, like I said I've had their clip-ins before but they weren't the seamless I had them I think in around like around 2016 2017 um, and they did last me or maybe 2015 2016 they did last me for about a year and a half to two years which is great so I knew that the hair quality from boxy locks was amazing but I had never bought such a thick set before um, and as you can see this is the full thickness. Let me twist it around for you guys to see also. It's a pretty thick set. Now my hair is not thin, but it's not super thick. It's about mm, maybe normal, a little bit thicker than normal. Um, I have a very short blunt cut, as you can see. I wanted to cut my hair really short because it was damaged. I think I cut it about a month and a week ago actually and my hair has actually grown so much within that time like my hair was literally like this much short so it's grown about an inch within a month which is great progress for me i want to just go ahead and show you guys how i actually clip these in and i wanted to give you the specs on these um and so far they're so good now being that there's a seamless band it helps make them um almost not 100% shed free because you're still going to get some shedding and I did experience a little bit of shedding but nothing, nothing, nothing major at all and the main shedding was when I kind of washed it because you know the hair is wet and you're kind of brushing it out. You of course always want to be as gentle as possible but I would say out of all the sets I've had, um, this is by far the best. But you are going to need a couple things. Obviously, hair extensions of course. <laughs> it's tangled. Obviously hair extensions, of course. Then you're going to need a comb. You can use a rat tail comb or you can use a comb like this. Um, you're gonna need uh, some clips. I have some clips in here also to help me. And then you're going to need some sort of paddle brush to brush through your hair and brush through the clippings. Now, this particular set comes with, in this particular set, you have eight wefts for a full head. Um, they are Remy Human Hair. You get one 8 inch wide with 4 clips, you get one 7 inch wide with 4 clips, you get two 6 inch wide with 3 clips, 
you get two four inch wide with two clips and then you get two 1.3 inch wide with one clip now most people hate those the one clip wefts um, I actually love them because this is what helps really blend the hair in the front at the end. And I'm going to show you guys, I feel like I'm rambling on, blah blah blah, let me get started. So the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is section off your hair. So you're going to want to start at the nape of your neck, but you're going to want to go ahead and clip in that first piece right back here. be to take another section about I would say a little less than an inch above that piece that you clipped in and you're going to clip in another two clip weft and we're going to clip this in like so don't worry about these pieces these will be disguised um, I know some people like to twist and put bobby pins on the bottom of their hair. I don't like that method because I feel like by doing that you can actually break your hair when you put the clip-ins in and I feel like it's causing more damage than good. Um, so I end up disguising that in the end. Okay, next thing you want to do is right above your ears. So now this is actually a pretty decent jump. And um, I'm doing this because you want to disguise as much of the short hair as possible underneath the thickest part of your extension. So you know you have your hair clipped in and all your hair is back. The most heaviest part is in the center um, after everything is laid down. So you're never going to actually see this part. And I like to go above, a little bit above my ears. Three clip pieces right here. This one and this one. And I'm going to clip them in. So let's unhook them. I'm going to start with clipping it on the side right here, parallel kind of with my ear. And these are seamless by the way, so they're super, super, super flat, that's why I love them. Um, and they're way more comfortable by the way than traditional ones because they're much lighter. How I clip this kind of to the center and actually start where you left off. So let me turn around. Quickly connect it right here. I actually like to go a little bit over the last clip underneath as you can see so it kind of creates some connection and then I pull it tight go back up a little bit all right guys look at that difference so if you look at the back it's basically going to be covered so that's that and I'm five seven by the way I want to show you guys where this comes to on me this comes about rib cage area So that helps you guys when you're um, looking for actual extensions. What I do now is go where my temples are and I'm making another big jump. When you're doing extensions with short hair, it's all about disguising the layers. It's not about trying to have enough clips to do very thin layers because then your head's gonna look huge. You wanna try and disguise the shorter layers with the thicker pieces of hair as much as possible. Okay, so we parted that out. Take the second to biggest clip right here, and I clip, clip, and I clip. Back area is blended now. Do you see what I'm talking about? All of that is now blended, and that's exactly what we want. And I actually really love this wave, it's super cute. Five clips, and then we have the two one inch clips. So this is where my little trick comes into play. An inch above the last clip. And we're gonna tie this hair out the way. Five clips on it. Uh, clip first, like that. And then I like to go push down, actually at an angle, with that clip, and then I like to push this clip right here. Now, it's at this angle because I'm going to do a little trickaroo when we put this piece down. Home, and I take a, a larger section from the top, right? Remember we have a clip right here? I unclip that. Pay attention, I unclip that. I take this leftover hair that's right here. I tuck it under that clip. I take that clip I just unclipped, and I put it over that top area. 
Like, did you see that? Does that make sense? Okay. To do that, we're going to need these single clips. Now, you may think these are useless, but I think they actually play a huge role in making your hair look really natural um, and come together. So, all of this is actually basically blended, except this front piece. I like to take a pretty thin piece, it's not that thick, um, because these are seamless, you won't even see them underneath. I like to clip the hair right in that front area and then I throw my hair over it. So now to put the icing on the cake, we're going to take our flat iron. This is my old flat iron from like a senior, when I was a senior in high school. I think this is the Remington. It doesn't even have a name on it anymore, but it is a Remington. It's my favorite flat iron. Um, I've been using this for a very long time. Make sure before you um, Put any heat in your hair you have heat protected which i already had put prior to filming the video um, because you don't want to damage your hair so let's turn on the iron and i'm going to put it to 400 and i'm just going to run the the flat iron over it now i will say i think i do need some layers to be put in the hair i think if i had a little bit of a shorter layer here and some shorter layers throughout it would look even better, but overall, I think this looks amazing. I'm not exactly taking really small sections. I want everything to blend and mesh together as best as possible. So we want all these shorter layers to stop sticking out. Granted, you can't see them when all my hair is down, but I don't want them showing at all. So I like to take the flat iron and press it straight and bring it down. I kind of like the wave that this hair has right now, so I'm kind of going to keep that at the towards the ends kind of. I don't want it to be perfect bone straight hair. I want a little bit of texture and I'm taking that iron and I'm going inside and I'm going straight down. What I did was I brushed out the hair. Um, I have done nothing to this by the way. Um, I haven't even flat ironed this top section yet. So what I'm gonna do is when I do the top, I like to take the heat a little bit lower. I'm going to put the heat to around 360 and I'm going to flat iron it. And I don't really go over it that much because I don't really want to damage my hair either. So. And this is where I was also saying, like, if I have some layers, I think it would even look even better. Um, but yeah, look how good that looks. Okay, guys, this is the finished result. Look how good this looks. You think that because the, the hair thickness is so nice and full, um, and the texture is nice, the color is perfect. Um, and yeah, everything just blends really, really well. And that front technique makes the world of a difference in covering those thick layers make the world of a difference um but i hope you guys like it i hope this video was really helpful for anyone who wants to get extensions and they don't know how they could possibly clip it in because their hair is short if they have extensions right now and they're struggling on how to possibly clip their extensions in with their hair um and or if you're in the market for some new extensions and you don't know what to get i definitely recommend these i really really like them they perform well that's it guys thank you so much so much for watching i hope this was like really helpful um i love the way it turned out it's really cute and i don't know having long hair just like gives me life and i feel like long hair is totally me like i love short hair it's cute and all um, I like where my hair is maybe a little bit longer, so that really short hair is not my fave, but it's still a cute style that I like to rock sometimes. I put some, you know, little waves in it or something and it looks really cute, but long hair is like my jam and I think I look the best when I have long hair. And also, long hair makes you look thinner and skinnier in the face and I love that. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe before you leave and give a thumbs up. Thank you guys. Bye.